Hi, my name's Keith. I'm a developer success engineer with Expo. I have an app. It's on the App Store and Play Store. It's live already. Uh, and it's working great with EAS build, but I really want it to automatically submit to the App Stores when my build's done. Fortunately, there's a way to do that. It's uh, EAS submit. So uh, join me as we set that up for my app. Let's work on submitting my app to the Google Play Store. So you can go to docs.expo.dev and look for EAS Submit, and you'll see there's instructions here for the App Store and Play Store. We're gonna to go to the Play Store here. And there's a few prerequisites. Uh, some of them I've already done. So a paid developer account is required. My app's already in the store, so I have the developer account. We need to create this Google service account. I have not done that yet. And my app is, of course, already on the Google Play Console. I also have already created um, a build that is going to be submitted. So I have my completed Android Play Store build here. So we're going to head over to this creating a Google service account uh, document right here. So this could change. This is, uh, of course, entirely on the Google Play Store console side. Um, as of March 2023, this is how it goes. And even though it could change a little bit, you know, there's a few steps involved, and I thought it would be good to show someone walking through this, because this is probably the most complex part of setting up auto-submission on Google Play. Okay, we're in the Google Play console. We're going to go down to Setup and API Access. Uh, sometimes it'll show like a little kind of starting screen um, just with a fancy design on it or icon and a button that says choose project to link for whatever reason mine's not showing that today but it's showing the very next screen after that which would let us either link an existing google cloud project or create a new one i'm going to go ahead and create a new one and hit save here google cloud project is now created and i will scroll down here to service accounts i need to create a new service account uh, and this actually needs to be done on the Google Cloud platform. So we're going to follow this link. And then we're going to click Create Service Account. You can name this service account for your app um, or possibly for your Play Store account. Uh, if you're going to be submitting multiple apps, this can work for all the apps under your account. If you want to add a description, you could. Then you click the Create and Continue button. Now we need to select the role. We want that to be Service Account User. There's a lot of roles here, so it can be a little difficult to find. We want to look for Service Accounts and then Service Account User. Here we go. Then we can click Done. Now we will make the key that will actually be used by EAS Submit. We'll go to this little action button next to our service account and click Manage Keys. Then click Add Key and Create New Key. We will choose JSON. And it's been saved to our computer. Be sure to keep this file in a safe place. We will need it again in a little while. My downloads are safe enough. Now we need to head all the way back to the Play Store console and to the API access page. Let's refresh these service accounts. We should see our new service account. And then click Manage Console Permissions. The defaults are usually fine here. And then we can click Invite User. And then Send Invite. And that should be everything we need to do on the Play Store console for now. So now we are ready to use EAS Submit in the build 
that I already built. Uh, do note that if this is the first time you're uploading your app to Play Store, you have to manually upload it. You literally have to go into Play Store console, create your app, and then drag and drop the AAV file. And that actually creates the association between the app and the package name, uh, which is then used for future submissions. So this is a limitation of the Google Play Store API. But we've already done that one time, so we're going to be able to submit an update with EAS Submit. So let's head over here to my project. We'll run EAS Submit dash handra. And this should walk us through any first time steps, which will then set us up going forward to be able to use auto submit. Let's select a build from EAS. We'll use my latest build. Okay, and now we're going to provide the path to the service account file. I'm going to make this very easy and rename it and drag it to my project for now and then delete it. Okay, let's fix that terrible name here. We'll just call it Play Store and then drag it over here. I'm going to need to make sure I go delete it afterwards. So if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, be careful because I don't want to commit that. But at least this makes this very easy. And now it's submitting. It has uploaded my key and taken my build ID and gone straight with it to submit to the Play Store. And note by default, it's going to send it to the internal track. So, so just like with iOS, where submitting it is actually going to send it to test flight, submitting with EAS Submit is not going to send your app straight to production with the Play Store, which is not something we usually want to do. So it'll put it on the internal release track, and then I can promote it to production. So the first time I tried to submit my app, I got an error, but it was totally coincidental. I had upgraded my app to the latest Expo SDK, and that was the first time my app was targeting Android 13. And there was a new requirement in the Play Store that I actually had to go fill out a form to declare that it was not using the uh, advertising API, or advertising ID, I should say. So I literally had to go to this app content thing and just say no. and now I'm going to submit again. I will select my latest build one more time. And it's going to go straight away into the submit because I've already uploaded my Play Store key. So I'll wait for the submit to be complete. And there it is. My submission is complete. I can go to my Play Store console and I can take a look at it. go into my app here and go to my releases and now I have a new release in internal testing that I could then promote to production so that's it for submitting to Android of course you know the one other thing I will add is the next time I build I can actually use auto submit so I could run EAS build put my profile in there production usually for my platform, Android, and then use auto-submit. And then it will start the EAS submit directly after my build is done, assuming it's successful, of course. So I can complete all of that from one step. Let's work on setting up EAS submit to auto-submit new versions of my iOS app to the App Store. So you can go to docs.expo.dev and look for EAS Submit. There'll be directions for each platform. I will go to submitting to the Apple App Store. Uh, there's a few prerequisites here. You'll need a paid developer account to submit your app. So you can head over to developer.apple.com to learn more about that if you need one. You'll need the EAS CLI installed. And also, before you do the submission itself for the first time, you'll want to build your standalone app for the store. 
uh, which I have done right here. I have a new build, a new App Store build. Now I'm at the console for my app project here. And it's a standard project. I built it with EAS build. I'm going to run EAS submit dash P iOS. And so we're going to eventually get to the point where we allow it to auto submit. But the first submission needs to be done manually because EAS submit will do all the initial setup, including creating the app store connect API key in this first step here. And then after that, you'll be able to do auto submit which will submit your app to test flight right after your build is completed. So let's run that. If you had just recently built, uh, you already have your Apple ID defaulted in here and you'll probably uh, be restoring a App Store Connect session that already exists. Select my team. So I'm going to select a build from EAS. You actually don't need to build your app on EAS build in order to use EAS submit. But I have my build on EAS submit, about EAS build. So let's select that. I built it just recently. So we'll pick the most recent one. So this is the key here. This is the part that needs to be set up. So you'll be able to do auto submit in the future. So we're going to use, uh, and this is, I think the easiest way, uh, is a new app store connect API key and it'll create it for us. Choose yes. It's now creating the key. And now it's going to submit my app. Uh, so this is the long part here. You need to wait a few minutes for the submission process to complete. And then of course, Apple does some processing at its end and you um, eventually get an email actually from App Store Connect that tells you that your app is ready for test flight. So we'll be back in a while once that's done. We're back and our submission has completed. You get this helpful message here. It says your binary has been successfully uploaded to App Store Connect. It is now being processed by Apple. You'll receive an email when processing finishes. I checked my inbox. I did receive the email. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes, which is correct. And it also even gives you a helpful link to take you directly to your build and test flight. And it'll take you right here. So you'll see I previously had 1.01 up there. I have version 1.02 up there. My build's up there. It's ready for me to add any new testers. I already had one tester added, so that build already went to them in test flight. Now that I've done the first submission, I'm set up to do auto submit in the future. So to do that, I would do EAS build, and then choose my profile. In this case, it would be my production profile is usually what the one I submit to actually make a, a production store build that'll eventually make it all the way live. Uh, platform iOS. And this would run your build just like normal, but once your build is completed, it would also automatically submit it. It would do just what I did the first time manually with the EAS submit command. So you can have a nice workflow here where you're running the one build command and not only is that building, but it's also getting it right up to test flight. So the very next step is wait for everything to be done and it shows up on your phone in test flight, which is great. And then from there you can do whatever you need to do in App Store Connect to release your app after you've tested it. And there's also more things you can do with EAS Submit. Um, you can find more in our docs, especially about EAS metadata, which allows you to attach like store descriptions, screenshots, and other information about your app along with your submission. One more nice thing about EAS Submit is with iOS apps, you normally have to have a Mac to submit the app to the App Store. Uh, that's because the Transporter app from Apple only runs on a Mac. Uh, and even if you're doing it from the command line, you would still have to be using command line tools that can only run on a Mac. Well, since EA Submit runs on Exposed Cloud, on our, our Cloud Macs, you can submit to the App Store without a Mac. And that's it for now. Uh, you can learn more about all the things you can do with EAS Submit and uh, other EAS services by going to docs.expo.dev. Thank you for watching and have a great day.